Hello, and welcome back to Treasure Adventure World. We are here on the island of... Oveglia? Oveglia, yes. And it's time to go to the catacombs, like I said we would. But first, actually, there's something else I want to do. It's been a while since we've had a proper... Since we've had a proper boss fight. And I don't think we've ever done a boss fight on the boat, or at least not with the cannon. So let's give this a go. Oh, you look nice. Nice to see ya, huh? Um... there. Okay, how do I do this? There we go. Ah. Okay, it's one hit. Stay over here, we're safe, right? No, you you stomped because you hit me last time, maybe. Ah. Uh. Okay, you're not actually that bad. But we're gonna try. There we go. Jumped over it. Ah! Uh oh. You attack. Oh, you're not actually... Ah! I messed up. I slipped off the ice. The ice was slippery. Shocking. There goes all of our extra health. No, oh, just stand there. Just stand there and tank the hit. What could go wrong? Oh, am I supposed to just shoot you in the mouth at that point? Maybe I am. Okay, you get a little bit of extra height by standing on the ice. Team. No. No, I didn't know. Okay. okay, it ate the cannonball. Ah, too slow. Now aiming this thing is kind of a pain, I have to say. Yeah. I'll take back what I was saying. This isn't. The first, the first stage was really easy, but then they, they added more to it. So, good on them, I guess. One more? Maybe one more. You're breaking the rule of three. You have four health. Assuming that this is the last hit. Okay, we're safe over here. Ah. Ow. Oh, interesting. Ah, can... Ah, I missed. The music ran out. We've been in the fight for too long, there's no more music. Ah, it always seems to take a while to... 
Okay, well, we are... It's four. There we go. Okay. It was four. Alright. Uh, defeat more ski. Cannon got your tongue. So we got an achievement for that. I don't know if that's... Um, again, I, I think the achievements don't actually show up the way I'm recording this. Uh, oh, I can turn around now. That lets us lower the drawbridge. Okay. Which is why we did this. Not really much point in uh, shattering all the ice. But I like to clean up after myself, you know? Well. We definitely need to go sleep. Uh, sleep that off before we continue anywhere. It's a fun little boss. And uh, like I said, I believe that's the first time we've had to do a boss fight with the cannon. A little bit unwieldy, but you know, I mean, cannons aren't, I guess, the most um, flexible of weapons. They have, well, that's not the word I was looking for. Versatile? Reactive? Responsive. There we go. Uh, where are we going from here? This isn't where we wanted to be, is it? Oh, do we have to climb all the way through? I guess we do. That's okay, we have that there. Alright, there was still... There was still the treasure chest up there that I didn't know how to get. Oh, I can't even get up there anymore because the block's gone. Hmm. Ah, okay, well... Again, I still don't know how to get there, so... I guess we're just going to leave it? Alright, floaty controls. Ah! Relay on the jump. Oh, do you automatically face down with this now? With the wind? I remember the doing the air jump with the the magic bottle was a huge pain in the first game because whenever you did a directional input like left or right, you automatically pointed the bottle in that direction, and you had so you had to while pushing left, let go of left and push down and push fire uh, in order to get the jetpack boost there. Anyway, here we are. My treasure hunting instinct tells me we need to get to the center of this floating ball of death. Right on the same page, Wida. That's why we're here. Here lie the bodies of the unfortunate souls of the city of Paveglia. So whenever we're on the... Oh, hello. Uh, whenever we're on the... Um... Dirt floor, bad things seem to happen. You, this is not what I was expecting you to look like. Also, I don't seem to be able to hurt you. Can I get the hand to do it? That's gonna be a pain. Ah, oh, now I'm stuck. No, okay. Well, uh, can I reflect your shots back into you? No, I can destroy them. 
No, I can't. I, I don't know. Okay. Um, good start. For a bunch of bones, these skeletons are really tough. The only way you're going to make any progress is to hit them with a fully charged hook attack. Or we could always come back later when we're properly equipped. There's no shame in that. Really? Okay. Thanks for the hint, Wida. This is going poorly. I'm gonna die. Yep. Hmm. We can't give up now. Let's go. Continue from auto save, sure. Where is this? The start of the dungeon? Yeah. Well now that we know how to how to hurt that thing. Can I do it with a hook a fully charged hook shot? That would be a lot easier. Ah, that's not the hook shot. I don't know. Oh, something over here. You found a page from Bagus' private journal. Alright, I guess we need to go to the one. Ah. This is truly an incredible discovery, the one mentioning Paveglia. It appears we have found the remains of an ancient city of Paveglia. We were guided here by the old lighthouse. Don't ask me how it is still working, I can't explain it. This was once the home of the people who were responsible for stopping the Great War and the birthplace of the hero Huayin. Even more unbelievable is the floating graveyard that hangs precariously above the island. Yes, it's true. A massive piece of earth, seemingly aloft by magic itself. Okay. Okay. Uh, that. Ah. That is definitely working. Oh, I see. He has a parry. Well. Got him. Ah, oh dear. So we can get this. If I do... Is it just following me around now? Interesting. Okay, well, hopefully that won't respawn. Uh, this is... Oh, there's another one. Well, these, these things are much tougher than I remember from Treasure Adventure game. Uh, and unfortunately... Let's not fight him just yet. If it's the same, we're actually going to have to kill eight of them to make uh, progress here. So look forward to that. Yeah, there's another one. Okay. When all wandering souls gather in this place, their curse will be broken. Okay, looks like it's only six. Hey look, a boss fight. Probably. Uh, 
What? Do I have to take hits? Do these hurt me? They sure do. So I take some hits to get down here, I guess. Okay, well, let's get the strawberry. Okay, you. You're coming with me. And since we can't use the hook, I don't think we could have made that other jump. So we're gonna have to go around with you. Okay, that's one down. Yeah, is this a jump we can make? Nah, uh, even without... Even with the hook, we can't make that jump. Alright. Oh! Right, I need to try something. Yeah, wait for him to start doing the attack. Okay, not too bad. Um, now that I've, I've learned how to fight them. So I wonder if I can use the use their souls as weapons. I think you could in the original. So we're going to go up to the next one, and we're going to try hitting it with this and see what happens. Uh, oh. We made it. Nope. So in that case... Let's just drop it off. It'll sort itself out. Ah! Stop doing that! If there's another hook upgrade I could have gotten. We're coming here. More like more health or something. The um the parrot did suggest as much. Okay, well I know. Oh, there's something suspicious and dark, but it's just a foreground bone. Oh no. This is terrible. Okay, we can get hits in like that. Uh, I have to be a little bit faster. No, that's not gonna work. Well, we have food. We just have to do this one more time. It's that hand that really makes this difficult. Okay, I can't get back up there, that's fine. Go around this way. Alright, down we go. What's better, strawberry or turnip? Strawberry is better. Turnip, radish. Yeah, these aren't the best. Well, that helps. We'll leave the strawberry for after our next disastrous encounter. I 
I know there's one up to the left, uh, to the right there, but let's go left first, since we were going up this way. Go as high as we can. Well, okay, I think that just brings us... That just brings us... Well, I'm not quite back. Oh boy! Not ah, too... Too... too late. Oh. Too... Too quick on that one. Getting a little bit of money. That wasn't too terrible. One more. First, gotta eat our fruit. Grandma would be proud. We're eating our fruits and veggies today. Where's that chest over there? I guess we'll try to get that after we're done with the main quest here. I just don't want to risk any of this resetting. No, nothing over there. Is the last one going to be up here on tile? No. That would be too convenient. Oh, more food. Ah. Save point, and then we can explore before we do the boss. Uh, that's all I want to do. Thank you, stranger. Our souls can rest once more. Once again. Even. However, our king is still being controlled by an evil being. Please, help us defeat it. Okay, separate room for the boss, instead of just a continuation on the same screen. But, we have exploration type stuff to do first. Now, do you have anything new to say at this point? What did those things mean by an evil being? Maybe we should just turn around and leave. Oh right, 12 legendary treasures, which grant any wish we desire. I just hope those glowing fellows are actually going to help us. Okay, you do have actually have something to say about the situation, that's good. Uh, oh, really? Huh. Maybe it's a secret from this way? Oh, that's... that's silly. Some oranges that we don't need. Can I... I can't go down there, okay. Well... Let's go up this way. Leave to the top. Uh, slap nice and high. 
found the treasure. It's gonna be through that boss door. Oh, something's growing up here. Okay, that's a radish. This. Oh. He found a golden carrot. Max health increase. Nice. That should help with this boss. Uh, let's go up this way. Out of curiosity, did those skeletons respawn? They did. Barrier is still down. Okay. You know where we're going? You can track an elephant in 10 feet of snow. Thanks, Wada. Well, that's ominous. What's that? Demented Dragon King? Uh, oh right, we have to watch out for his hands. Well, we, know what, we now know what those are about. Ah yes. Same old, same old. Shoot for the core, not the head, okay. Sometimes having played this game before causes me. Uh, whoops, right, skeleton hand. Causes me to misunderstand a few things. Okay, there's, there's an incoming hand. Uh, oh, is that gonna work from this distance? Well, not if I miss it. And off center, oh. Oh, you just shoot me. Fine. So how many hits is this going to be? Four? Six? Yeah, now we're on to phase two, I guess. Keep moving. Okay, is this one going to be a platform? It is. Is that the last one? Or are we on to phase three? It's four hits. Nope, looks like that was it. What's that? Uh, broken bones, okay. Thank you for rescuing us, citizen. In the old world, when there was but one large continent, I ruled over a peaceful kingdom. But after the cataclysm, our civilization died out, and we remained in this dimension as spirits. It has made us all very happy to continue living in our kingdom even after death. Now, thanks to you, we will continue to exist peacefully. Please come to my castle, that I may repay your kindness. For now, goodbye. Thank you for not having the ticking the entire time I was doing the fight. We found a legendary treasure! Temporal Ring! Um, I guess we will see what happens when we fall off this way. Oh, there is an uh, opportunity for secrets there, actually. 
All right, witch, we did your quest. You're a ghost too? I am a spirit, yes. Thank you both for what you have done for the citizens of Paveglia. I've been protecting this island for countless years. It was once a great kingdom populated by humans and animals who practiced magic and studied science. The city was the binding force of the old world, a time when the two philosophies were at odds with, with each other. But after the great cataclysm, when the world broke into islands, the city settled here. The large mass of earth that hangs above the island was able to collide with us, causing even more devastation, or was about to collide. However, the citizens were able to hold it in place long enough to cast a powerful spell. It's been floating there in the sky ever since. Those who survived tried to carry on their lives on this newly formed island. The climate was too harsh and desolate for humans or animals to survive. Many left for warmer climates, while others, like myself, were too stubborn to leave. So many of us passed that we began using the floating orb as a graveyard. That is how it became the catacombs that it is today. Okay. So do I have anything else uh, left to do here? I don't believe so. Alright, we know where that is. Lots of quests there. Okay, uh, back to Angel Oak. Or a place that we don't- we can't get to yet. Right. Now that we've rescued them, all the spirits should be back in town. You should go visit the castle when you have a chance. We used to have great parties there, back in the old world. King Boone still lives there, and I'm sure he'd love to have company. You know where the castle is, right? It's just east of here, past the bridge. Yeah, that might not be a bad thing to do, uh, to do today. Midge is reopening the general store. Back in the day, you could find anything you wanted there. His inventory is a little limited now, but I bet he has something you'd like. Does he have a mask that'll fool a guard? Because that's what I'm in the market for. In honor of you saving my soul, I would like to offer you a special one-time only deal on this once popular item. In the old world, humans would wear this mask when they wanted to go unnoticed by, uh, less friendly animals. Not everyone was as tolerant as the citizens of Paveglia City, you know. So what do you say? Interested? And we can get the animal mask. You bought an animal mask. Disguise yourself as an animal. Alright. In the old world, humans wear that koala mask. They want to go noticed by less friendly animals. Uh huh, okay. Cool. I already looted those. Uh, this looks rather silly. I'm probably not going to wear it uh, for that long, especially since... Uh, oh, I have to pay now? Fine. 25. Yeah, since um, the paper hat actually gives me a defense boost, that's probably what I'll wear. So I'll just wear this when I'm uh, in the animal kingdom, in the animal city where I needed a mask to get by. Do you have anything to say? Uh, other than that. Well, let's explore the rest of this place. That looks like some humans over here too. The city of Paveglia was once a haven for the peaceful humans and animals of the world. We accepted those who practiced magic as well as those who studied science. Animals and humans now segregate themselves and are afraid of each other. It's really a shame. But I see you two are quite close. It makes me happy to see that. Hey, Peep and I are not that close. We just happen to have common goals, that's all. Sure, if you say so. See this old lighthouse? My dad told me when it's lit during the night, its beacon shines to the horizon. If you could sail to that point and dive to the ocean floor, you'd find a sunken treasure. I always wanted to see if that was true. Oh, it's uh, a little bit more blatant than I remember that in being, but okay. Fail. I'm gonna go through here. 
clear out the bats, and then we're going to come through here a second time, and we're going to bring that fire up now that we have the magic magic uh, bottle. Ah, it's timed. Oh, that's quite the tight timer. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Okay. The reason I have to do it in this order... ...is that I can't throw my hook while I'm using the bottle. I really like how the bottle works. It really limits you in a lot of ways. But it also gives you so many abilities. Alright, so now... This would be the spot. Now unfortunately, we don't have any ability to go diving just yet, but I suppose we've been spoiled on that, thanks to the hint. There will be diving in our future. Yeah, okay, actually hit. that there would be. Uh, gotta make that money back. Ah. S to... Drop the jar. Well, hello? Oh, we haven't seen you here. Ah, fellow travelers! By now I'm sure you've heard the story of the hero Huayin. But what you probably don't know is that Huayin gets more credit than he deserves. He was far from the only hero during the time of the Great Cataclysm. There's evidence that the Twelve Treasures were originally discovered by someone other than the legendary hero. He just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Don't get me wrong, he is a hero. It's just a shame that history's forgotten the rest of them. Anyway, until I see you again, good luck on your journey. Can I do anything with that? Hello? Did you know that the great hero Huayin was from this city? He came here as a youth and studied magic, even though his family was against it. When the demon came to destroy the world, he set out on a quest to stop it. He's a true hero, and I'm proud to have known him. Uh, oh, oops, I misread that. I thought that I was going to be um, hitting the cliff and stopping. When we were alive, Midge and I ran a very successful general store. Those were the good days. It took me a long time to accept that my old life is gone. Midge, on the other hand, won't give up his dream of running the S-Mart. What is he thinking? We haven't had a customer in a hundred years. I see something we can do in here. Now that we have the bottle. I found an Av Pearl. It contains the coordinates for the location of a legendary treasure. I'm starting to think we won't do the castle today. Well, we could start it, maybe. 
Uh, so is that it for this place? I think it might be. We did the lighthouse, we got the nav pearl. Fought the sea serpent, letting us cross here. No, oh, this is a free save point. Although we humans have always been interested in science, some of us chose to practice the magic of the animals instead. I was one of those humans. However, the unrestricted use of magic was particularly to blame for the Great Cataclysm. It became taboo to practice, even amongst the animals. And those of us who remained of Aveglia died, so did the last of the world's magic. Well... The last of those who use it, anyway. Now, so we can go in. Let's talk to King Boon here. Hello. After everything we've been through, all I want is to go home to my castle. But it's haunted! You're haunting your own castle? No, no, I mean really haunted by evil ghosts! Come, follow me inside, and I shall show you. Ghost busting. Oh, hello. Uh, boop beep by lockpick. Nope. It is, however, a fairly opportunistic uh, location you found for yourself there. I think we're doing alright. Bubbles! How do these work? Uh, can I... can I jump while I'm in them? Ah, uh, okay, kind of. Get to the top. Well. Ow. Ah, everything's going wrong. All at once. Uh, this would be another time when flying would come in handy for you. These bubbles have it figured out. Don't think they hold your weight for long, though. Nope. Okay. Of course. Okay, that still works, but hmm, probably can't be abused anymore. Though there's there's some really tricky things you could do with the bubble in the jar, bubble in the bottle. So how am I gonna get up to this final part? Oh, I see. Ah. I have to... Ah, not quite. No. Okay. Now, we can write a bubble while we have a bubble. That's another thing we could do. But... 
Didn't quite work. I'll try this one more time and then I'm gonna switch up my approach here. Oh! One more time where I don't actually fail to catch the bubble. Oh. You have to go quite a ways in there, okay. In that case, I think there's going to be a two-part process. First, we're going to release this bubble. Ah! We're actually going to die here. So we have to release the bubble. We have to catch a bubble ah, inside a bubble. So how how are we gonna how are we gonna do this? I think that's how this is gonna work. Missed it. How quickly can I? I don't think I can do that quickly enough. Well, you have to actually ah, catch the bubble. Nope. Wrong inputs. Wrong inputs. The problem is I'm shooting... Okay, let's shoot the bubble straight up. Does that work? Because then... Oh, this is kind of annoying. Probably just gonna... Ah! I am gonna die here. Wrong one. Controls are just so slippery. Nope. I didn't didn't hit the didn't hit the button in time for the jar. Why am I having so much trouble getting all these inputs done at the right time? Do I just not have enough time? I feel like I should have enough time for this. Ah, oops. Well, okay, you could pop the bubble. I'm surprised that's the first time that happened. Okay. Ah, are you serious? Missed it. Okay, well I guess this is the last thing we're doing today. Also... Okay, just have to wait. Be patient. again. No, I was too slow on, on the, the bottle. Okay. Ah! Why did... Ah, okay. So, how do I... Do I have to... Do I have to have it facing down to catch myself? No, it still didn't catch me. How do I... Okay, so 
I don't understand how the bubble physics work. In this version of the game. Okay, well, I got up. Okay, that's all I needed to do. This is actually a lot simpler than I was making it out to be. Okay. I found an app pearl. Contains the coordinates for the location of a legendary treasure. So I can move side to side. Might as well explore the physics a little bit. I can jump out of it, of course. Hmm. Well, we got that. Okay, I see a mushroom. Good, that means I can get back. To break the sequence, take the other direction. In a new game plus. Oh, I see. Um, what? Also... Oh, that hook is interesting. That, that hook hold is, uh, interesting. this. This is, this is back around to the other side of the world again. Okay, whoops. Yeah, that's not breakable ice. Uh, oh, somehow we avoided the damage there. I thought we were gonna get hit for sure. Anyway, uh, that's the exploration. So we have now, we've now actually circumnavigated the world. King Boon's Castle next time. Hopefully it'll be easier than the bubble segment. I mean, I was... what I was trying to do was way harder than what actually needed to be done. I should have just... I should have tried to just time it to get myself trapped on the other side of the, the barrier. Uh, yeah, but anyway, that was uh, Paveglia. Well, most of it. Boon's Castle next time. I'll see you then.